Hey guys, I'm Rhonda Nickerson, the owner of Rhonda's Creative Corner, and I am so excited about today's tutorial. I am going to be making three different projects for you to be able to make using items from the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. So the first project that we're going to be making is we're going to be decorating this, um, I guess, letter box or card box, Valentine card box. So this is the first project. We have some other small projects that I will tell you about once we get to them. I don't want to mix things up, so I'm going to do one thing at a time, but it's all going to be in one jam-packed video that you guys are going to love. All right, so let's get started talking about the supplies that you'll need for this one. So, as you guys know, everything is on sale at Hobby Lobby, about 40% off. It may be 50% off by the time y'all see this video, but whichever one, you can go and get it. This box was $6.29 at 40% off. And I'll show it to you. It has the hearts there. And the reason that I picked this, I was going to get the all white one, but I thought that having the red at the bottom, once we put the red hearts and stuff on top, would look amazing other than seeing white through there. Okay. So you're going to need this. You're going to need these hearts here. These are Valentine scattered and uh, scatters and fillers. So this is just something that you would actually just throw on the table to decorate. I got two bags of these. Don't know if I'll need two bags, but I may. It was 40% off of $5.99. You'll also need these place card holders. I thought that this would be cute. All of my projects are going to be using place card holders, okay? You're going to need two of these. I also bought this too. It just says love letters. It was $2.99, 40% off. These, I think I got 12 of them. I think it's 12 and it's just $3.99 for the card place holders. All right, and you'll also need some ribbon. I'm using two ribbon, but you can use whatever you like, okay? So I'm gonna be decorating this using all of these things, okay? So I'm gonna put a bow down here, I'm gonna put the little love letters here, and then I'm going to put these two, these, uh, two place card holders here, okay? So with the place card holders, you can put hearts here, you can put actual little cards there, you can put whatever your heart desires, okay? And this will be really cute to give to, I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. This would be really cute to give to your um, child's teacher or something like that. Or if you're a teacher so that all the kids can put your cards inside of there. I think that it would be really cute and a really easy project that you can do to make everything beautiful. Alright, so let's talk about the um, tools and supplies and stuff that we'll need. You're going to need some E6000. You're going to need some pipe cleaners for your bowl. And you're going to need... Um, a glue gun and glue sticks all right so let's go ahead and get started uh oh i had already opened up this box so i'm just going to kind of pour these out so that i can pick i'm hoping that it's even because we have shiny ones and then we have matte kind of a kind of a matte color so let me show you what i mean so here you have one that's shiny here and then one that is matte so I'm, I'm going to try to do where I do shiny matte, shiny matte all over the whole thing. So also what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to place all of my items on here where they're going to go. So that way I won't have to um, use any hearts in that space. I'm hoping I have enough. So I'm going to do the top first to make sure that I have enough. If I have more, then I might have enough to put some just in the front. Or I might can go all the way around. It just depends, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I think because the bow is going to go here, I'm probably just going to stop, um, here on the, just make the bow wide enough where I can just not put any of the, um, the hearts here. Okay. So where this heart, where this opening is, all right, I'm going to actually start my hearts on the outside of there and then go out. Okay. So. I like to use a little dab of E6000 and then hot glue. So the hot glue will make it stick instantly and then the E6000 will dry over time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with the shiny one. I'm just because this E6000 takes a little bit to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it all the way across and top it up real fast. All right. And then I'm see, I'll tell you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try different stuff out. Or maybe I should have put both. I'll let you know. See, because in between the hearts, 
you can see the glue. And I don't want to put my finger in there. <laughs> so I'm just going back and forth, adding the hearts. And I'm just placing them side by side, right by each other. Okay. So we'll go opposite. So, I don't know. Let me see. I'm thinking that probably the glue glue gun by itself will be enough. I'm going to try to wipe that off. Because it's sticking pretty good, y'all. I just don't want that glue showing. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm not going to use the E6000. Now, if I was selling this, then yeah, use the E6000. But because of how the hearts sit, you can see the E6000 in between. I'm going to see if I can find a napkin and, and fix it and get it off. But the, the uh, glue is working perfect. The uh, glue gun. It's working just fine. It, they're sticking really, really well. So I'm going to skip out on the E6000. It makes it a little bit messier. But if you if this is something that you're selling, I would take the time to go, put a little dab of E6000 and then a little dab of uh, glue. Uh, glue gun. Alright. So I'm going to... Alright, can y'all see that? Just a little dab of glue. And then we're placing it down. The only thing about the glue gun is these dang on glue strings, but it's okay. Let's see, hopefully they just wipe off. Yeah, they wipe off really easy. All right, let me take that off of there so it's not making all that noise. All right, so we're just gonna continue to do this all the way around, okay? And then I, once I get up there to the top, I will um, go ahead and place my holders and my little sign so that I can go around it okay and I'm just putting dabs of glue and then placing it down all right and I'm going back and forth shiny heart matte heart shiny heart matte heart and if you have more things um, that you can add to the box then that's perfectly fine as well whatever you feel all right, so I'm just going to continue to do this and add all of these hearts. And I'm pretty sure by now you guys got the hang of it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and fill up more of this. You guys saw how I did it, so I don't have to do the whole thing on there. And then once I get up top and start adding my um, different things to it, I'll come back on and show you how I do that. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So look how super cute that is. Easy peasy, as you guys can see. You can see the shiny and the matte going back and forth. I did the exact same pattern on each side, starting with the shiny on the outside going in. So now what we want to do is we want to add our um, card holders and our love letters. Now with this, I will use the E6000, okay? And um, I'll use both of them and the hot glue. Got a little hot glue on there. So the hot glue comes off easy, y'all. So that's good. I got a little hot glue on the heart. But it's coming off rather easy. easy. Alright, let's do this one here. Again, we're going to take it. And I'm just going around. Placing the E6000 on there. 
doing the same with the hot glue y'all and I'm doing this I should when you're doing this move it from on top of your box just in case some fall down all right so I'm just making sure that where you place the card that it's going to be facing okay there we go do this and especially this one because this one is a little bit heavier I'm gonna put some and this was from Hobby Lobby y'all everything that I'm using on this particular project was from Hobby Lobby and it's on sale okay. so the glue the e6000 is the it takes a while for the glue to uh, sit or to harden but the glue gun it hardens fast and you just want to make sure that you have it in the middle and I'm just pressing down and so after so long it will um, it will dry up I should have got that thing on that one. I'm gonna use this here to get some of this excess. Oh, you know what? Because I'm probably not gonna need all that. I got some some ribbon down here on the in the trash. Even though I'm gonna put some hearts there. Oh, okay, so that's hot glue. Let me see if I can wait. Nope, that's hot glue too. Okay, so it's all good. Y'all know I'm like a neat freak. And so, child, I be trying to make everything look perfect. Let me see if this will work. All right, I'm going to place this one. And we're going to keep our same little form. But the hot glue, y'all, is working perfect. It is working perfect. I think I'll just leave it off. So because another one won't fit, like all of these are sitting on top of each other, I'm moving that one up just a little bit to where I uh, probably where I started this one. This one's probably going to do right because that one's a little bit further up. But whoever you give it to is not going to be looking at it. Ooh, it's not even. <laughs> right on top of it I can put that I'll put it on top you kind of got to push it inside for it to lay flat but it does lay flat there we go bit more glue. There we go. Let me show you. How cute is that? Alright, I'm going to add over here and then we'll add around the mailbox. Let 
me some more glue sticks. I'm trying to keep it as uniform as possible. I'm trying to see what I did with my glue stick. Yeah. Let's see if I can make it. So I'm going to go and grab some glue sticks and then I'll be back. This is just too cute. Make sure y'all get y'all glue strings. There we go. Down there nice and tight y'all. All right, let me grab some glue strings and then I'll be back. Glue strings, glue sticks. <laughs> be back. <laughs> All right, got my glue sticks, y'all. Still doing the same thing. Just going back from shiny to matte. And I'm hoping that this lines up right. Hoping, hoping. And when y'all are putting them on, make sure to check out both sides and you want to put the best looking side forward okay Ooh. if y'all can't hear my my stomach on oh, here. I think we're gonna be a little short I should have I should have made that one much closer on that first one I should have made it closer all the way over. I guess I should have laid them out beforehand. But, let me see. I guess I can. Oh. <laughs> I lost it. Let me see. They come up pretty easy. I'm going to just move it. I'm going to just move them down. Y'all see how strong that glue is? They say try me if you want to. I'm just scooting them over some. So you guys can learn from me and my mistake and just make sure to lay them down before you glue them down to see how they fit and make sure that they're all going to fit right. And not be too tight. This glue comes off pretty easy. So. It's going to be just right. Pop me right in the face. That's all right, y'all. That just pulled right up. Oh, you know what? That one's messed up.
Okay. Now you better fit thing. Trying to make it fit in there. There we go. It's pushing up a little bit. I went underneath to make it get in there, but it's working pretty good. One is poking up a little bit more than the other, but I got them on there. So I'll take it. Got to make it do what it do. So, I don't know. I don't think that two of these are going to fit in there. With that being there. So, I think I'm just going to kind of just put one in the middle. Just to have something there. Like the red on the, um, I really wanted to try to cover. So I probably will put like, maybe just glue a pipe cleaner or something around there to hide that glue. And that one's a little bit closer. We'll figure something out. I probably could just put some uh, red glitter or something too. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna work out. And I'm just going behind and doing the same thing. really want something to hide the glue. Boop. I'm gonna have to put a shine in. a little I got one that fell in there but it looks amazing so let me see how this will look oh that's pink don't want to use the pink one just trying to see if there's a way to yeah so that is a way that I can camouflage my glue is to put a pipe cleaner around and just glue, put little dabs of glue and put a pipe cleaner around to hide it so that does what mm -hmm. yeah, that definitely hides it putting that there all right so there we have it and i only used one pack if you want to, you guys, you can go around the front. If you want to, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put some all the way across the front, and then I'm not going to put some in the back. I'm just going to, so I'll start with the, um, I think I'll probably have enough the, um, matte one, because right here is the, uh, shiny one. Turn it up. I like 
and I'm just kind of heavy with that being on there. You can go all the way around or you can just go in the front, whatever you want. And I'm still going opposite. All right, so I'll finish this up and then I will be right back after I'm done placing this in the front. I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I couldn't resist. I had to take them all the way around. So I did use... I did have to open this other one to go on the side. So if you want to just put them on the top, you only need one bag. If you want to go all the way around the side, you will need a few more from the other bag, okay? And you can also, if you want to place them all the way across, then you'll need two bags of the hearts, okay? So now we're going to get ready to make the bow. All right, and for the bow, you're just going to need, and it's up to you. I'm going to use a 2.5, and I'm going to use... Okay, let's just use the Rhonda's Creative Station. And I'm gonna use a 1.5, okay? So you're gonna need a, um, just one pipe, pipe cleaner. All right, so I wanted to kind of go over a little bit. Guess I'll just do it, just make it long, and then I can cut it. Like I always tell you guys, I'd rather you cut it Make it too long where you can cut it then make it too short where it looks funny all right let's just go with a four and a half inch bow it looks like it's going to be good enough and i want to keep my um tails going over to the side okay there's a four and a half inch same size like I said I can always go in and cut it off that the size that is, um, you want to make it longer than I'm gonna make this one about a half an inch shorter okay so we can get a slightly layered look all right and then we're gonna pull it up Gonna get my pipe cleaner and place it underneath. Alright. Alright, just gonna take it here. And I'm gonna pull really, really tight. Put my fingers close and then I'm going to just twist it three times. Okay. Just so that I can have a nice hold on it. So I'll see what I want to do once I'm done with it. So I'm going to just cut this down. I'm going to leave maybe about an inch and then I'll just push it down and that can actually go underneath the um, what you're going to tie in the middle or if you want to just put a heart you can put a heart too. Whatever you want to do. Okay. How cute. <laughs> so, I'm leaving it up to you guys. You may want to uh, make your bow smaller. Uh, you may want to, um, I'm just trying to make this go different ways. It needs to go with All right. Y'all know I get to concentrate and then stop talking. And it's just too cute so yeah you can make your bow smaller you can make it larger i think that this is a pretty good size 
All right. So when you're doing this, you don't want to um, hide the opening, okay? You don't want to hide the opening. So I'm going to bring it kind of up, and then I can go in and add hearts there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue gun. I'm just going to put glue going across, and I'm just going to glue my bow on. I know that I want it up front, so I'm just going to push it there, and then I'll glue whatever is underneath there that's what i'm going to it i'm just pushing down in that area that i put the glue all right and hold it on to it all right go in and we can dub like stuff keep falling in there that's all right it's not like it's glued down or something it's not like I can't get in there. So, it's up to you. If you didn't want to put a heart here, then you could definitely go in and you would put something, tie um, some ribbon in the center. But I want to go ahead and put a heart there. But it's just too cute. Oh my goodness, look how cute y'all. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it. And like I said, y'all, um, look how cute. I'm going to put a heart here. I'm going to put a, sh oh, a shiny heart there. And that will cover up my mechanics of the pipe cleaner being there. So I'm just going to put a small little heart there. All right. what I have to cover up I mean you don't have to put anything right there you can leave it out but I want to I'm just gonna put one there and then I'm gonna go across and it is kind of heavy these things are light but with all of them on there, it is quite, quite heavy. But it's super cute, super cute, super cute. And this just completes it to me. If you want to put some underneath that ribbon, you can, but the ribbon is laying there. I'm not going to go through all that and do that. But y'all, everything is on there so, so good. Make your bow pop. Make your bow poofy. Make your poofy. I'm getting all my glue strings. So if you want to, you can go in and you can kind of glue your loops down or you can just leave them, leave them free. All right. All right. So here is project one of our projects. I love, love, love the way that it turned out. Super cute. This would be an awesome gift to give to your, um, your kids' teachers to put all of her cards from the students in there. Um, I am going to go in and glue this down so that I can hide my glue there. Just gonna put a little bit of glue and then just kind of push it down. Probably get a little stick or something, a little pin or something to hold that down to hide the glue there. Make sure to get your glue strings, y'all. Don't leave all those glue strings and stuff on to on the project. But this is super cute. Let me see if I can. I don't know if this will fit. I'm gonna break this off. I didn't want all that to come off, but look. So if you want it, you can get hearts. I'll put you, these are from Hobby Lobby too. You can put you some hearts there. I do not have a card. I wish I, I wish I did have some type of card that I could put in there. But just a piece of paper. I guess I could use 
So I'll just use a receipt, but just think, you know, you can have something, you can make something that says XOXO or I love you. And then you could put the little card there. This is just from the project I did the other night. <laughs> But yeah, you could put a heart there. You could do whatever your heart desires. It's super cute and I so love it. I'm going to get cleaned up and then I'm going to get ready to start on our next project that I'm super excited about. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I am, I'm always super excited, but I'm super excited about this project. So we're actually going to be making a, a fake bake and we're going to be doing a cupcake so two of the projects will have fake bake cupcakes okay so this is what we're using this one is from Hobby Lobby this is actually from Hobby Lobby I wanted to go in and fix this there we go this is from Hobby Lobby it's just a little bubblegum ball machine and I'm going to put the little conversation hearts inside of there okay so the things you'll need is the bubblegum ball machine. You'll need some candy. Or even if you want to put the little uh, red hearts, if you're going to use red, you could put the little red hearts in there. That would be cute. Or if you have pink hearts, you could put in there. But I'm going to actually just put some candy in there. Um, you're going to need the cupcake holders. You're going to need some glitter, Mod Podge, a spatula, some um, spackle don't think we'll need scissors so they were just over here and then you'll need one of the cake um decorating kits uh, let me see what this is called y'all yep treat decorating kit so you'll need this all right so i got this from michael's it was i mean joanne's it was six in a pack for like six dollars and some change and then i got 30 percent off my or no five dollars so i say i probably spent about four dollars on getting six of these okay and i got these at joe ann's um hobby lobby hobby lobby hobby lobby hobby lobby um home depot and this candy was hobby lobby as well you'll also need a little paintbrush or something to put the paint on okay so in my head i do want to glitter this how this will come out i don't even know but this is what was in my head to do and so my idea that I wanted to do is I already cut a little hole here and so I want this to fit here I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to put the spackling here to make the cupcake and then we're going to go from there hopefully it'll work out the way that I think that it will we shall see all right so I wanted to um put Mod Podge on here and then put glitter all right I'm not going to worry about glittering here because this is going to be inside the cupcake okay so I have my Mod Podge hopefully it's still good yeah let me get my glitter open I just bought this glitter hopefully I can push it I don't want to use a knife I can use this and not hurt myself You're one tough cookie, ain't you? Hmm. I might have to have CW do it. Usually I can just push this right on in. It won't be difficult. I'm trying not to hurt myself too. At the same time, maybe I can just open it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? This little paper in here is holding me back too. There we go. Got it. There. Just needed a little oops in it. And so I'm going to actually be doing it on this phone so that I can catch all of the glitter on the phone and then I can pull it back in here easier than getting it all on my table, okay? All right, let's go ahead and start Mod podge -ing. We don't need that much glitter on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that outside. I don't even know where my um the little piece that goes on there to make it stick inside. I don't see it anymore. It's probably underneath my um the foam. And I'll get that. So, I'm just putting my posh all on the top because some of it is still going to be seen underneath the cupcake. So, 
just making sure that I have enough making sure that it's going it's going all the way around all right just place it there and then I'm a glitter Look like in some places I didn't get enough um, Mod Podge on it. I keep just going around. I can see right there that it's not really sticking. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some extra on there. It's okay. This is the only color that I'm using today, so it's all good. All right. So I'm gonna place that over to the side, and then I'm gonna mod podge this here. And I'm hoping that it comes out cute. I'm hoping we can still see the little five on there and that it comes out good. I'm just making sure that I have a nice coat of the Mod Podge on there. I'm gonna do the front first and make sure I have coverage on all of this. And then I'll just go around. How cute. You can still kind of see the fire. All right. Just gonna go right up beside it and I was trying not to get it on the glass, but it's all good. I'm gonna Mod Posh all the way. Last little piece. Get the Mod Podge on there and. Alright, guys, so we're gonna get some of this spackle. Hopefully, it's still good. So, y'all, I'm not the fake bake. We have an amazing teacher in the circle, Mrs. Thelma, who teaches us fake bake. So, I am not the fake bake person, but I wanted to do this for y'all. At least try. And this this uh, spatula sucks. <laughs> I need like a, a wooden spoon. I'm just putting some in there, and we're gonna. Pray for the best that it's going to be enough for two cupcakes. Because my other project, I need to do a cupcake. Alright, so we got all the spackle in there. Now, I should have, um, going to take some white paint. So, really, whatever color you want your cupcake to be, it could be that color. I want my cupcake to be, uh, or do I want them white? Maybe I'll make it pink. Let's see. 
if I have some pink in here. I don't know. I was painting out on the, um, my painting stuff is still outside uh, when I paint for the fairy garden. So I'm going to start stirring this and see. I'm going to have to put some more. up there and find it so that I can have some pink and this makes it a little bit softer because I'm going to put sprinkles on it and stuff I'm going to put some of these pink sprinkles on it and some conversation hearts too so the white will probably be up right so the more so the more um, paint you put in there, the thinner it will get, okay? So you don't want it to be too thin. And I think this is just gonna be enough for one cupcake. And we're just stirring it up. Looks pretty white to me. So y'all, I kind of announced we're going to have another um, Circle Sister Fest. It's like a marathon of lives with all of my Circle Sisters. It's going to be the first week of February, first weekend of February, the 4th and the 5th. So you guys look out for that. I'm super excited about showcasing my talented sisters. It's going to be amazing, just like the last time. Y'all be looking out for a flyer to come out. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm hoping this speckle, the speckle was a little bit softer the last time. So let's just see. to make some more for my other cupcake but y'all saw how I made this so I'll probably just make that on camera so this video won't be like so long okay, so now you're gonna get it you're gonna hold this and you're gonna yeah, hopefully this will be enough y'all <laughs> might have to make some more especially because I don't have anything down at the bottom and I'm using this to fill in. But I probably could get some little pieces of, um, there we go. I probably could get some little pieces of um, styrofoam. Because my other one, I have some styrofoam. So, styrofoam. So, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get all of my uh, speckle down to the bottom. So that I won't be wasting nothing. And I'm trying to look at it, making sure that I don't have too many uh, air bubbles or anything in there of that sort. So let me see. All right, so we got that. I have my styrofoam right here. Let's see what we can do. I don't know. This may work. Like... This may or may not work. <laughs> So this will give this a little bit more filler where we're not using as much. You don't want to make it too wide where it's going to actually push this out. And you know what? I probably should have just made the cut tape in the... Um, a little too much. I 
probably should have um, made it because when I put it in there, hopefully it won't push this out too much. We'll see. So we'll live and learn together, okay? Because the last time that I did them, I actually put them into the little uh, holder, little cupcake holder. Let me go ahead and fill in those other sides. And so usually we use the gaps and crack. That's what I used before. But that's pushing that out too far. I really didn't have much time. I knew I was doing this, but didn't know when. And then I would have to wait for the gaps and crack to um, set. And I just don't have that type of time. I work tomorrow and I want to get this filmed for you guys. So we're ad living, y'all. We are ad living. So this is just giving it a little bit more filler in there to where, uh oh, I have to cut my leg off. To where we don't have to use uh, so much of the. All right, so here we go. So I'm pushing it here. I'm kind of looking, trying to make sure I don't have any too many air bubbles in there. And then I'm going to start filling. Okay. So I'm trying to fill in that bottom part first, okay? And then I'm just coming around. I'm not rushing it. I'm just going in a circle. some more. I'm going to push it down. Try not to have any air bubbles. Hopefully I don't jack this up. I want it to be a little bit more fuller. So I'm just going around the outside. Looks pretty good to me for it to be my my uh, second time doing this. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I'm going to push this down a little bit to try to touch the side. So, there you go, y'all. There's my cupcake. So, like I said, this is only my second time doing it. But now you can see how you can kind of rig it up to make it work for you. Okay. You know what I forgot? Diggity dang it. And I can't go back and add it. I wanted to, so I'll do it with my next project, but you know how I use the, um, dang it. I forgot to put this in there. I wanted to, uh, I was supposed to put this down in there so that it can have where you can put a card or something, but there's no way for me to do it now. But I did want to do that, dang it. Yeah, and I'm not going to mess it up because I don't feel like mixing so much of that. Um, I mean, I probably could go, but I kind of wanted it in the center. I mean, I probably can push down and then add some more on top. I mean, let's see. It's worth a try. We only live once, huh? <laughs> I'm going to push it down in there. Alright, then we'll go around it again. 
something I would tell you guys make sure if you're going to do what I'm doing put that in there first all right I'm just going to go around that top that I smushed and again y'all I'm trying to push all of the speckle down to where I do not have any air bubbles so that when I go around it will look good okay Okay, so looks pretty good. Look how cute. This is just my second bake bake, y'all. Is this a particular part of the paper? I'm just gonna put a dab of glue and push that up. Was kind of sticking out a lot. Look how cute. All right, y'all, this is just my second one. Let me stop playing. All right, so now I'm going to sprinkle some of this on there and then I'm going to put some conversation hearts. I'm just going to sprinkle, sprinkle. Make it fancy, fancy. And then what doesn't um, catch on, I'll uh, shake it off. I'll let it dry a little bit. Right. Here are the conversation parts. I'm trying to make sure, not like somebody's going to really eat it, but. Oh. Okay. I love it, baby. I love it. All right. Um, oh, it's on there. I was saying I didn't know where the um boop. Look how stinking cute. I think I want to add a few more. And of course, y'all, y'all let this dry, but I'm not letting nothing dry. I got another project to do. So that I can go relax before I go to work tomorrow, bro. I'm in love. I'm in love. There we go. Stinking cute. Look how stinking cute. So cute. So, another thing I should have paid attention to. Let me see if I can turn it. There we go. Before it dries, you want your card holder to be in the front. Oh, y'all know I get excited. I get excited, baby. And so that was an ad lib, y'all. It turned out super cute. Super cute. Okay. So now let's get our conversation cards. And so if you have... I can't read what that says. Probably on most of them I'm not going to get it to. But if you have some ugly spots in your stuff. Yeah, you can't understand none of them. Then you can hide it with the candy. Right? I'm just pushing it in. I need to get a different color. You're going to use all the colors. I'm not going to eat this, y'all. I'm just sticking my hand all in here. I'm just... This one says, love you. Okay. 
trying to make sure my front looks good. Baby boo. That one says smile. Love you. I don't know. L-Y-M. Somebody tell me what that means. I don't know. But look how cute, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm not going to get rid of this, but I just want it out of the picture. Um, like I said, I'm not going to eat this. Make sure I put it up so nobody gets it. But it's amazing and I love it, y'all. Alright, so like with the other one, you can put um, a card. You can put a heart. I do not have... Um, I do not have a... Um, I mean, I guess I can show you with this. So, I definitely would use a pink heart. But this is just another example that you can do. You can have that in there. Of course, you're going to let this dry and get hard, not put anything heavy in there. So I'm going to set that to the side and let that dry. So, yep, I read this one up, y'all. I did, I did, but it's all good. I'm just going in because some of this is sticking out a whole lot. And I do think that it'll do better if you... It's just so hard to but i guess if you did and you put the um i don't know because you're going to need a hole at the bottom um to go over the heart part so i mean i think it turned out good but i think that having this and letting this um dry in the uh pan that it probably would do better you know you have the little cupcake pans but hey i made it do what it do so look how amazingly cute is this, y'all. I just love it. I gotta find something to put in there. I'm gonna get ready for my next project, but I'm gonna find something to put in there so that you guys can see how adorable that it can be with having a card or something in there that actually matches, okay? Let me get ready for the next project and we will be right back. All right, guys, so I was searching for something. So I found this little picture of the girls when they were smaller. Of course, you know, you can put whatever you want. You can put a card. You can put a card that you made, anything on top. But I just wanted to give you an example. So you could definitely, you could do that and put a card. Um, if you have a flat heart that's pink, you can do that. It's multiple things that you can do, but I think this turned out so, so, so amazing. So now we're going to get started on the next project. These two things could go together because they both could go in the kitchen, okay? So our next project, what our next project is going to be is we're going to do this little cutting board. And this was also at Hobby Lobby. It's a Valentine's um, cutting board where you can put food on it, whatever. Oh, they say it's a, I don't even know how to say the word, but... You can put a little food on here or you can use it as a cutting board. They call it something else. But I love this. And I saw this. I was like, hmm, I could do another project with that. Okay. So as you guys know, I try to find stuff that's different and that I haven't seen. Okay. Now this project I had seen, but it did. It was a little bit different. Um, and I wanted to add my spin to it. I can't remember who because I would give the person credit, but I can't remember. I think I saw it in a group, but I don't remember who it is. So if you've done this before, thank you. I I don't remember who it was, but I just saw the idea. I was like, hmm, let me put my little spin on it. And so that's what I did. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this. I have not seen anybody do this, but okay. So this time we are going to use the um, cupcake holder. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the little, um, the cupcake, not the holder, but sheet that we put on there and i'm gonna put a penny down at the bottom just to make it a little bit heavier all right and this just want to keep popping up and then i cut this piece here all right and i'm just gonna put some like i said if you want to use gaps and crack you can definitely use the gaps and crack as well I'm just pushing it down So that you can have a and I don't know I'm thinking it may still come out 
fine. And this time I'm only using one of the blue one of these two. But all right, so we have that. So I'm gonna actually make the cupcake first and then we'll get started on everything else. So with this one, you're gonna need the little cupcake uh, sleeve that you put the cupcakes in. You're gonna need a piece of styrofoam. You're gonna need the little cutting board and then you're gonna need this little heart as well. Again, I did mix up some white um, paint with the uh, spackle and made sure that it was all the way down. And we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna move this closer to me. I'm hoping, I don't know why this is doing this. When I did this before with this, it kind of sat in there better than that. But okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start here on the outside. And then I'm just gonna go around, okay? And I'm just pushing as I go. See that side is going down in there more. Uh, and I'm just going in a circle. All right. So y'all can hear that little poof. I had a little air bubble there. And I did it again, Lord. I wanted my little conversation piece, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I should have put this in there before. It's all good. It worked before, so it'll work again. I think I want to just take it out. Because it's falling in there crooked. And then I can't get on the sides of it. Just pushing that in there all the way. So I want to be able to get on the side. So I'm going to leave it out and I'm going to go around that outside again. All right, so I'm going to push this down here. All right. I don't know if the if they had larger um, cupcake sleeves. Y'all, I don't know why I can't think of what it is. It's been a long day. I'm tired, can't think, but I got to finish these videos for y'all. Put down in the comments what those are called. Cupcake holder. <laughs> I guess it's a cupcake holder. All right. So I'm going to go around the outside again because the outside kept falling down in the. Hopefully it ain't ugly, y'all. I hope it ain't. I'm like holding my breath. I'm just gonna go around again. Boop, 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 boop. Dang it. It's a little uglier than the other one, but hey, we're gonna just keep on going, y'all. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah, know I love trying new things. Like I said, this is only my second time doing this. So. And I'm thinking probably having the whole thing filled with the gaps and crack is much better. Um, so I would definitely recommend that putting them inside here, doing the gaps and crack, letting it sit for the 24 hours or however long it has to sit and then doing it. Okay. I think that that would work much better than this. I'm going to try to squeeze some of that inside there to give it some hold on the side. Y'all know I'll be ad-libbing y'all. I'm going to make it work. But I do think that that would work better. I 
I don't know what that is out there. They're working on something. So what I'm doing, y'all, is I'm going in where it's not sticking and it needs some. And that's probably what I could have done to, to start it down deeper inside of the cup. So I'm going in and I'm pulling the cup down and I'm just adding some of the spackle there so that it'll have something to stick on. Because right now it's nothing right there. I'm just trying my best not to mess it up. That is, that is working better, giving it something to uh, actually stick on. This is the ghetto version of get, uh, fake bake. <laughs> hey, but I'm just, I'm going to make it work, y'all. At least y'all can see how y'all can make it work if something mess up. There we go. So yeah, that works. I'm just going around and adding some in there. See, I'm just, I don't know if y'all can see on the top camera, I'm just pulling down and then adding in there where it's none and then lifting up to try to make it look better. It's kind of messed up, but we'll take it. I be seeing people making cakes doing this, y'all. I'm just trying something. I done already jacked it up, kind of, so. Might as well try something. I'm going to be making cakes in a minute, y'all. Just playing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm trying to fix my ugliness of it. Okay. I don't want to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. So y'all, this down here is terrible looking, but we're just going to run with it, okay? But the cupcake looks amazing. I love the way when I went in and I did those little things on top of the swirling. The swirling wasn't looking right, so I did that so that it can look good, okay? The This part here looks a hot mess, but it's okay. Ah, it is okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, this is what was in my head to do. I'm going to go ahead and let me get my black paper. And I'm going to sprinkle this so that it can have some pink sparkles on it. And you can add the conversation candies if you want to, or you don't have to. It's up to you. But this little heart says sweet on you, right? And I just thought that that was just so cute to have a little conversation piece. 
Okay, so if it is going to go together, then I definitely would put the whole conversation pieces, uh, candies on there. So, if you want to, y'all, you can go in and you can Mod Podge all around so that you can have glitter on the outside of here. That's one of the things that you can do. I think I'm going to stick and cute, y'all. All right, so I'm going to find out where I want my heart to be. I think I want it like that. Sweet on you. That cupcake is fire. That bottom part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to find the best looking side. <laughs> so that it can be on the outside. Because that is horrible. Okay, let me stop. Alright y'all. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And you can put some... Um, some E6002. I should have put that first. I'm going to give it a little extra hold. Alright, right. hold it there for a second. And again, y'all, y'all can go in and you can. Put something in there, something cute in there. I'm gonna glue this to this, and of course, y'all let this harden so that it'll stick good. I just don't have the time to let it harden. So once it hardens, you'll be able to place it down uh, better. But I'm sure it'll get hard overnight. All right. So again, if you want these two to actually go together, I think that they're an awesome pair. And you can go in and you can put your little conversation pieces or candy. And then they'll just dry in there. But I do, I like the way that the cupcake came out on this one. Like I said, I'll keep perfecting my craft, y'all. I like to try new things with you guys. And sometimes they come out good and sometimes not so good. But it's all good. I am nowhere near perfect. I won't ever say that I am. It says real love. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. And look how stinking cute that is. But yeah, like I said, you can go in and you can go around here. And you can just make this where all of this is um, glitter. You just uh, Mod Podge it and glitter it up. I think that that would be cute. Let me get one more thing. I wish I had some smaller um, Hopefully y'all can't see my legs because they ash. <laughs> oh shoot. So you could take uh, some ribbon. Alright. And you could make you a little bow. I'm just giving you guys different ideas that you can actually use for this project. To 
using a pipe cleaner and tying it off. Then if you have a little pink heart, you could put the little pink heart in the center, which I don't have a pink heart. So I'm gonna use this as a center. Don't need anything too big, because this is a small bow. So I'm just gonna use that as a center. Just gonna tie that on. Trying to make this one a little bit smaller. That side was a little off. There we go. Cut them again. That dovetail was ugly. All right. All right. So you can definitely just go in and put your little bow here. If you want, you can do the bow where it's going this way. I'm trying to see in there. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas of what you can do. When the bow is up there. Just different things. And then if you wanted to, you can go ahead and place your bow first. So then you'll know where you want to put your cupcake. It's up to you. It can go like that. And it can be on each side of the cupcake. it's cute so yeah so that's just another idea that you can that you can add you can add a bow to it you can add the glitter to it or whatever else all right i'm gonna get my desk clean and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys all of the things all right i'll be right back all right guys so here are our three finished products so the first thing that we made are projects i said products projects is this cute valentine's card holder all right, and then we made this fake bake with this bubblegum ball machine, and we put the conversation hearts inside and on top. And then we made this little cutting board, did another fake bake with a heart that says sweet on you. And you can put pictures, you can put cards, you can put whatever you want. I just think that this is an amazing little things that you can make to decorate your table. You can even do this to sell. Just make sure if you're selling stuff, make sure to get your glue strings, make sure that everything looks neat. Make sure that, um, and you know what I really wish I did? I wish I had done this one like I did that one when I went in and did that, but it's totally fine. They both look amazingly cute, y'all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to push that notification bell. As you guys know, we make wreaths. Look down in the description, guys. You can find all of our links to our favorite um, wreath supply shops, and we have affiliate links that you guys can use to help support our channel as well. All right? All right. Valentine's is on its way, y'all. I guess it's a month. Today is the 15th of January when I'm filming this anyway. So this month is halfway done. I cannot believe it. So Happy New Year to everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are here with us at Rhonda's Creative Corner. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.